Has anyone ever asked you to set some goals for yourself, but you have no clue how to decide your goals? You just don't know what you want. I have a really cool technique that I'm going to share with you right now that makes this super easy. When I ask people what they want for their business or for their lives, they usually say something really vague like, I just want more customers or I just want more money. Most people are just not clear about what it is they actually want. The technique that I am just about to share with you will help you get really clear on what it is that you actually want for your business or for your life. I actually find the best way to help people to discover what it is that they actually do want is for them to tell me what it is that they don't want. And don't worry, this doesn't make you a negative person just because you are more aware of what it is that you don't want rather than what it is you do want. And that's because of the way that our conscious brains are actually set up. They are programmed to tell us if there's any danger or if something's not quite right so that we can make a change. But in this society, we just don't need to live like that anymore because there's just not immediate danger. So we just have to recognize that our brains are constantly telling us negative things and we have to reprogram our brains with positive things. That's why you're much more likely to hear people in this life moaning rather than being grateful for what they have because you get used to what you have and you take it for granted. But the things that you don't want, the brain will constantly be bombarding you with worries and things that you need to look out for and things in the future. So for that reason, it's easier for us to look at the things that we don't want and help this list to determine what it is that we do want. So that's what we're going to do right now. We are going to use a technique that I have called the opposite list. And this is a technique where you make a list of all of the things that you don't like, that stress you out, that you don't want in your life. And then you're going to write the opposite and I'm going to give you some great examples. So what you need to do, first of all, to create an opposites list is to answer the following questions. One, what struggles do you have with earning enough revenue? Two, what frustrates you the most about your business or lack of business? And you can also use this technique for your life. It doesn't have to be applied for business. Just replace the word business with life, but I'm gonna use business for this example. Three, what's holding you back from success with your business? Four, what takes up too much time in your business? Five, what limitations do you have with your mindset? Six, what work are you putting off because you don't have the time? Seven, what problems do you have in your business right now? Eight, why isn't your business successful right now? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take all of the answers in your negative list and you are going to write the exact opposite in your positive list and I will show you exactly how to do this right now. So say for example, for the first question you answered, I am struggling to earn enough revenue in my business because I haven't created anything to sell yet. Now what you're going to do is take that question and turn it into a positive, the opposite of the negative. And I suggest that when you do this, you look one year into the future and this really helps to convince the brain that things could change in one year time. So here is the first example of how you can reframe that negative into a positive. I have created a best-selling book to help entrepreneurs to improve their mindset. So that is a very specific goal that you could set for yourself based on what it is that you don't want. Do you see how this works? We'll go through a few more examples to really help you to see how this works. Number two, my business isn't earning any money yet. And here's the opposite. I earned over $10,000 last month and every month my business increases more and more in revenue. Three, I feel like things are moving really, really slowly. When I publish new blog posts, I'm just not seeing that much traffic back to my blog. And here is an example of what you do want. My traffic is soaring right now. Whenever I publish a new blog post to my blog, my traffic just has a massive spike. I have over 100,000 page views every single month to my blog. Number four, I have a very small email list so nobody to market to. That was the problem and now the solution is 
My email list is growing exponentially. I have over 20,000 people on my list and it's growing rapidly every single day. Number five, the problem is that it takes me too long to create images for my blog posts and format my blog posts. So the solution to this is I have a graphic designer who creates all my images and I have a virtual assistant who formats all my blog posts. Number six, the problem is that I am self-conscious to do videos because I don't like how I look or how I sound. And the solution is I accept the way I look and sound but because I know that my ideal clients don't care what I look like and they don't care what I sound like because I provide so much value to them. Number seven, the problem is I am resisting doing videos because they are too time consuming. And the solution is every time I practice creating a video, I get faster and faster to the point where it's actually much faster for me to create a video than it is to create a blog post. So what I do is I get my videos transcribed into blog posts and I get them both done with very little time. Number eight, my problem is that I'm working really, really hard, but I just have a very small audience, so nobody's actually seeing my content. And what it is that you actually do want is I have a very large audience. I have over 100,000 followers across all of my social media platforms, and it's growing every single day. Number nine, the problem is I just don't know what strategy to follow for success. And the solution is when I meditated and gave myself some time for the answer just to come to me, then I got really clear on what it is that I actually wanted to do, or a different solution could be. When I started to look at what other people were doing and I started to see what was successful for them, I got an idea of the strategy that I could use myself. Number 10, the problem is that I just don't have any money right now to run paid ads. And the solution is that every, for every single dollar that I put into paid ads, I get $2 back in return. So I only need $1 to get the ball rolling because every single time I put money into paid ads, I get more back. So I just keep trying to put as much money as I possibly can into paid ads and reinvesting a lot of that money back into paid ads because it's always generating me more money back and I didn't really need much money to get started with paid ads in the first place because they are very profitable. So now it's your turn to go and create your own opposites list. So get yourself a journal and a pen and give yourself some space and time to do it. Probably 10 minutes is all that it will take. Write down a list of everything that you don't want. And then on the other side, write down a list of the opposite. And these are your goals. And another thing that I would like you to do is put some of the things that you don't want into the comments and then write the opposite so that you can help each other out in the comments and you can see an example of other people's goals that they've set by writing down what it is that they didn't want and then writing down the opposite. So go and do that and then you can help each other out as well. And I also have another tool that's going to help you and that is a free goal planner specifically for business and this is the goal planner that I actually use myself and it helps you to set three very unique goals that you need to set to create a successful business and I'm going to leave the link to that free goal planner in the comment section below so go and grab that right now. So remember you can use the opposites list to decide any goals that you want for your life it doesn't just have to be business you can use it for anything at all. And if you've got a friend or a partner who happens to be a bit of a moaner and they're quite negative, you can help them to use this technique as well. And it can really help them to shift their mindset into a much more positive place. Goal setting is such a massive passion of mine and I create many more videos just like this one. So if you like this, please go and like it and subscribe to my channel for more. My next video is actually a very personal video. It's about how I started my very first business straight after having a baby, which was a crazy time. And I can't wait to share this story with you. Now go and put your stamp on the world. See you next time.